Hello everybody, Dazas here. I performed tests that I wanted to make for quite a long time for myself and that's comparing high density radiators with let's say standard or medium dense radiators. Some manufacturer claims that it's significant increase in performance, it's a future of radiator making and all kind of uh, marketing bluff, uh, but I never saw any proof of that so to speak so i decided to check out what's going on here and my previous video when we tested dirty xspc ex240 radiators was actually a perfect setup for me because i had a similar radiator lp240 or from dark side it's not ideal situation because this radiator a little bit bigger and uh, this already a little bit smaller so but this is as close as i can get try to compare between two types of fin density so this radiator a little bit in disadvantage because of the size but you know if it's big difference we'll see it if it's not big difference you we won't see it so so i assume it will be okay to get a some ballpark number and get some sense what's really going on all right so um Took me a couple days to do so, to get eight numbers, which is um, doesn't look as much, but um, took a little bit of uh, work to mine them. So I start today with a high speed situation. And uh, so I, again, as usual, I test 2000 RPM and 11,000 RPM for people who want performance, people who want quietness. So always two groups that fight each other. So for 2000 RPM, doesn't matter CPU, or CPU plus GPU, I couldn't get even one degree difference. And because it's not lab environment, anything within one degree, I can see that it doesn't matter because I just don't have enough environment to guarantee that fraction of degree make any difference or any meaningless. It's just a margin of error. So um, this means that if you run relatively fast fans, um, it doesn't really matter what you use. So sorry high density FPI buy you freaking nothing. Maybe some of you will be disappointed, but that's what I get. Now, I have second set of tests. I slow down my fans to 1100 RPM. So we put system a little bit more tests in terms of thermal situation within your computer. And for CPU only, which is pretty really modest type of uh, heat infusion, I barely got 1.5 degree. So again, it's so close to room and error that yeah, maybe it's better, but is it better because uh, higher FPI or because it's more five millimeter bigger rod? So hard to say. When I kicked in GPU into uh, equation, I got a little blimp up. So 1.75 degrees, that's all I got. And again, why is that? Not convincing enough. If I could get like four degrees or something, I would say, yeah, okay it makes sense but this i'm sorry it's uh, just a marketing bullshit that we get fed on a regular basis so i would say if you're deciding uh, too much and thinking and reflecting too much on fin density i don't think it really make any practical difference so whatever you choose probably give you similar results so for me the question is now answered you can draw your own conclusion of course and uh, disagree or agree with what I'm getting here. All right, guys, that's all for today. The next test, I am do something that I promise you from the very beginning. So we will be doing push, pull, and push, pull setups and see uh, if it will make any significant difference on performance numbers. And I'm going back to triple radiator this time. So because I'm done with duals, so it will be two GPUs, one CPU, and we'll see what's going on. All right, guys, thanks a lot for watching. I'll see you soon with more videos.